Hey YouTube, uh, today I'll show you how to um, open your uh, Sony YO F, F uh, series or FW series uh, uh, notebook. Now I already opened it so I'm going to show you the other way around how to close it but you can get an idea how to uh, how to open the uh, FW or uh, FW series uh, a laptop. Now I had to remove my um, sound card and a USB card so um, there is this uh, data cable which we have to uh, just simply pull out um, and you want to take it out. And there will be like two screws in here. Uh, one screw will be here and one screw will be here which you have to uh, unscrew it before you take it out. So this is the internal motherboard and uh, other hardware inside the computer. And there, this is your uh, sound card which I was showing you just a while ago. Um, and it also has a indication uh, through the arrow uh, where, where it shows uh, like where, where to put the screws in. So go ahead and screw it, and uh, um, it will be you'll be able to take it out with the motherboard. There are several other screws, uh, and you have to take them out if you want to completely open and uh, replace the fan, or maybe you know change uh, uh, some of the internal components now. You have to make sure one thing that you know your environment must be absolutely uh, clean, no moisture whatsoever, um, and uh, put your uh, notebook on top of a white surface, preferably so you can see if something you know falls out, like uh, uh, screws or anything. And what I did was uh, I uh, arranged them in a in a pair, um, so it's easy for me to. Uh, um, find out what screws goes in what uh, what way. I'm gonna also show you like where which screw or you know where to remove the screws in order to open the the body. Once you unscrew everything, um, you have to open the uh, the uh, the notebook from um, uh, from where the CD drive is uh, using a, a, a flat head uh, screwdriver. Uh, you simply just uh, you just insert it in the surfaces and then you know, start snapping it up. Um, the body once you unscrew it, it's just a snap to the uh, to the keyboard and uh, um, and the silver surface. I'll, I'll I'll quote it that way, so it's easier to understand. Um, so uh, with the body, of course, the battery compartment uh, part is also attached with the uh, back side of the body. So, but other than that, um, as you see all the surface is loose uh, means it's not connected to the to the back cover so uh, if you have to take it out just snap it open from uh, all other sides except the side where there is a uh, there is a HDMI cable and VGA cable because those uh, those actually uh, the, that part is supposed to be um, uh, it's, it will also snap open once you open the uh, uh, rest of the three edges. But this part you will have to uh, slide it uh, slide it out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust it uh, according to the ports. And then I'll, I'll close it. So I have uh, snapped the body back in. Um, you have to push the, the card slot in. And then, uh, then you'll be... Uh, then you have to... Um, insert the VGA port and then all you have to do is just uh, press and uh, uh, you just have to press the body um, against the uh, press, press the cover against the body and it will just snap in so make sure everything is uh, snapped in perfectly and uh, then you're ready to uh, screw it back in or in, if you're unscrewing it uh, as I said just uh, insert the insert the flathead screwdriver and then you know unsnap uh, from all the parts and then um, just just the three sides and then when you reach towards the HDMI or the VG port side all you have to do is just uh, you know uh, lift the cover um, you'll be able to figure it out um, once you once you open it so uh, first things first um, the first uh, three silver screws uh, will go uh, under the under the CD drive, or where the CD drive is located, um, 
you can use uh, to open to unscrew the uh, unscrew uh, all the parts all you need is uh, either uh, uh, this crosshair screwdriver if it's uh, sharp enough uh, you will be able to uh, you will be able to open all the screws uh, otherwise you can use uh, you, you can use uh, the Phillips uh, screwdriver set uh, that will also help so once you unscrew uh, three screws underneath the CD CD drive um, you will be able that that these are these are the last three screws which you are supposed to uh, remove to replace the ram or if you want to remove the ram um, it will go here the the edge there is an edge on the ram uh, which is here you have to insert it like this and then you have to simply just press it and uh, and it's done. if you want to open it, you have to, uh, you just have to pull this one and this one together. Uh, yeah, you got to pull this and this uh, ledge, you just have to pull it out and then the RAM will pop out. So here I've inserted one piece of RAM. I'm going to insert the other one. Make sure you insert it uh, properly, push it all the way in, and then press down. So first there will be a one screw uh, uh, where the power button is. So there will be one screw here, uh, one screw here, there will be one here, this one. Under the battery there will be two screws. And where the battery connectors are, uh, there will be two screws here. And then there will be one screw here, here. This is the where the where you put the charging port. I mean charging cord. Uh, this is uh, there will be one screw here near the fan. Uh, there will be one screw here uh, above the VGA port. There'll be one screw here near uh, a Wi-Fi control, Wi-Fi switch where the uh, Wi-Fi on and off uh, right here, and there's a SD card slot. There's a screw right here. So there will be one screw here. Uh, this is to open the RAM compartment. There, there will be. This is the part where the hard drive is going to go. I'm going to show you. There will be three screws here and then there will be one screw on top of that uh, to close the hard drive cover there will be one screw here and uh, there will be if you remove this one and this one you will be able to take out the the DVD or CD drive or Blu-ray drive whatever you have so these two screws will take out and there is one more screw here so there are total about 15, 10 to 15 screws uh, around this body and then once you uh, unscrew all of them you'll be able to open it. Want to take out the hard drive all you have to do is once you unscrew it uh, you lift the single screw side and then you pull it out. Don't lift it too much you know just lift a little bit and as you, uh, you know as long as you have the grip uh, you can hold on to it just hold it and then pull it out because there is a uh, data and power cable uh, right here this this slot right here so and when you want to put it back um, all you have to do is just uh, um, hold on in a horizontal position and then slide it uh, towards the double screw side and then screw them up so I screwed my hard drive back in now when you open the hard drive compartment um, once you unscrew it, uh, which is a screw on top, you have to slide it out. Uh, you don't uh, you don't lift it. You just slide out, and when you want to put it back in, just slide it in, and it will snap uh, right back in. So again, your hard drive compartment is right here. Um, this is your uh, uh, RAM compartment, and uh, uh, this is your CD drive. So make sure. You when you unscrew uh, this and uh, this uh, this screw right here, you just simply simply uh, slide out your key, uh, your uh, drive uh, like this, and then take it outside. I mean, pull it out and you know put it outside. So again, I'm gonna review the the places of the screw, and uh, 
So this is the back side of the of the notebook. There will be one screw right here. There is one here. Uh, there will be one here, here. There will be one here, 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 here. This, 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 and this. And so there will be one screw here uh, where the Wi-Fi on and off switch has the SD card slot. There will be one screw right here, one here. This is for the RAM screw, RAM compartment. This is for the hard drive. This is for the CD. This two, and this is uh, one of the screws right here. There will be one uh, right here and here, and that's it. So once you open all those, it's really simple. Once you open all those, uh, you're all set.